so let me let me get to the to the good stuff. <laughs> so I have one question for you. Are you currently running right now? No, I just shut down my season like last week. Week and a half. Okay. Yeah. Because I know we were all getting ready to watch some 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 Olympics this year. We're mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, 2020, everything's going good, and boom, the pandemic hits you. How how did that go? Knowing that that that, that kind of destroyed the entire season, like. In, in your mind, you know, hey, I've made a world team. In my heart, I know that I have the ability to be the world champion in the 400 because I know that that's a goal for you. Mm -hmm. How did how did that disrupt your entire training for the season? Um, it was really tough because I'm in LA, so definitely a hot spot for the virus and the pandemic. But it hit us around like mid-March, end of March. And I remember being at practice and like reading on the news and I was like, hey, it's all the way in China. Like we're, we're good. <laughs> and then literally a week later, we got kicked off the track. We were like, okay, well now we're struggling to find different places to train. So at that point, the season was still a thing. So it was just like, all right, let's adapt and adjust. You know, we don't have access to a track, but we can be in the parks, we can be on trails, we can do hill runs. So we were just really, finding new places to train like every single day. Um, and that was tough. That for me was really, really difficult because I'm a planner, I'm very type A, I like to know what's gonna happen, what's going on. So like, and seeing all the other people in different states who weren't hit as hard, they're still training on tracks. And I'm like, that's not fair. Like I'm over here <laughs> having to dodge horses on a horse trail and like people are on tracks, like that's, that's not fair. Um, so that was super, super stressful for me and kind of just trying to remind myself, like, let's control what you can control. Let's get in, like, coach knows what he's doing. We're going to put in the quality work regardless. Um, and then when it came down to, I think kind of like May, by the time May hit, I was like, the Olympics are not happening. Like, no way, no way, no how can they host a meet of this gigantic proportions. Um, so at that point, I was kind of like, mentally out of it i'm not gonna lie because i was like we're sitting here still training hard as hell every day for for what um and then once it was officially officially announced uh we had just finished practice and i remember just being like okay so like what what do we do now like what does this <laughs> what does this mean and it was really bittersweet like at that point it hit and i was like man like we waited three, four years for this. And like, now it's just not happening right now. You know, a year isn't too far away, but it is. Um, yeah. So that was, that was difficult to deal with, but it was the right move, the right call. So I support. Hear that kids, wear your masks, wear your mask. <laughs> really, really though. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I have another interesting thing to ask you because like, Myself, when I was running the quarter mile and, you know, had my little suit on, you know, and, and you, know, I was, you know, I thought I was really doing something. So I was, I, I get out there and, I, and I'm running. I loved watching Michael Johnson. I grew up on Michael Johnson, the gold spikes, the whole gear, everything. Bam, that's Mike. That's, <laughs> I need to be like Mike out there, right? Yeah. So if, if you could, could compare your style and someone who you you formed your style of running to, who would that be that you looked up to in track and field? Um, this is a tough question for me because, you know, I run track, but I honestly wasn't into track for a while until like maybe like junior year of high school. Like I think the first Olympics that I watched was 2012. Um, hmm. Yeah, and it was just like, I like very half-heartedly watched it. Like I was just not all that interested. Um, Cause at that point, like I had no, I wasn't even sure if I wanted to run in college at that point. So I like for sure wasn't thinking pro. Um, so I think for me, the only person starting out when I was young, only person like who I knew of was Marion Jones, just because she like mm. she was the biggest name at the time. And that's the only name I knew. So I would just be like, Marion Jones, like, hadn't seen her run a day in my life, but knew the name, knew she had gold medals. Um, 
And I think as I got older, it was Sonia Richards because we went to the same high school. Um, so kind of just like that attachment and seeing how, how great she was and great things she's accomplished. But as far as like, if I mimic anyone, no, definitely not. Just because it's like, I'm very, yes. I've always been, I'm gonna do my own thing. Like I am who I am. Uh, I don't care what anyone else is going on or what they're doing. So like, it's always been, I'm gonna just run it how Coach Watts tells me to run and like what I feel comfortable doing. So nah, just me, myself and I, but definitely those ladies like growing up were, were who I knew about. That's awesome there. Yeah, that's, that is <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> Awesome. I love the answer, man. That's yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, so it's it's interesting that you say that because like, man, I, I'm telling you, when I when I seen seven time, I'm like, oh, I'm like, where are my glasses at? I had to look for my glasses. I I was like, no, nah, I'm not reading this right on thing. And then to hear you say that, so so you a basketball player? Um, no. Well, I started I played basketball when I was like seven and eight, I think, or like six and seven. I started out in basketball and then I was like, okay. team sports are not the wave for me. So <laughs> I'm going to have to find something else to do. Okay. Yeah. Ah, so you're super smart is what you're saying. I am. <laughs> I, I am super smart. I am, but I don't know. The team concept just didn't sit. Like I could have a great game, and if the rest of the team is not feeling it that day, then we lose. And I just I don't like that. I put so much effort for us. <laughs> like, uh -uh. Track and field. If I, if I lose, it's on me. I'm not having a good day. That's on me, and that's it. So. Uh -uh. Yeah, struggle is real, man. Cause definitely, uh, yeah, basketball. Yeah, you're absolutely correct with that. Yeah. Um, so, what would be? something that you would would give to the youth um as they pursue their dreams um obviously you're you're a successful not only high school collegiate and professional athlete you've you've succeeded on all three levels what would be something that you would give the youth um as far as advice on how to reach what you've already reached okay um I say this all the time and it sounds super cliche, but I really wish I had taken this advice to heart when I was younger, but have fun. Um, honestly and true, like I think, especially nowadays, social media is becoming more and more popular and in your face. And I think a lot of times athletes can get caught up in that and in what other athletes are doing and times they're running and the exposure they're getting. And then it becomes like a job for them and I remember how like anxious and how much pressure I would, I would put on myself when I was younger and still do sometimes, but it wasn't fun. And I'm like, I robbed myself of so many trips and like team activities that like I could have really enjoyed and been a part of had I just taken the pressure off and just ran to be running. Um, so I, just, I say that, stop, stop putting so much pressure on you. You know, if you're like, nine years old stop worrying about what college you're going to don't worry about like a scholarship or trying to go pro straight out of high school like enjoy it enjoy it for what it is take your time with it there's no rush like it's not going anywhere so have fun slow down take a breath enjoy enjoy the things the sport has to offer awesome yeah yeah that, that those are some gems there folks i hope y'all are listening stay inspired <laughs> have fun do your thing. Yeah. This is Miss Kendall Ellis, y'all. I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know that it's been crazy with the pandemic and you're in LA and I know y'all have a lot more stuff going on out there. Please stay safe, wear your mask. <laughs> of course. Of course. And 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 you know, keep keep doing what you're doing because it's it's definitely appreciated on this end. I'm a huge fan of of what you do, not only on the track, but off of the track, you know, with helping the kids and everybody and, and inspiring everybody. So, um, fight on. <laughs> fight on. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time, okay? This is Kendall Ellis, USC alum. <laughs> New Balance. Yep. Thank you, Kendall. Thank you.